In this paper, we present an alternate method for subspace analysis. We use attribute labels and word embeddings to divide the data into subspaces that are semantically consistent. The user is provided with a visual analytics interface that guides the analysis process. The visual tool is composed of five main components. The semantic space plot shows the semantic distances between the attributes of the data. Attributes that are close in the semantic space have a strong similarity. The subspace grid view organizes the subspaces and gives the user an overview of each subspace. If the user hovers the mouse over a subspace, the attributes that make the subspace are highlighted in the semantic space view. The subspace view presents the detailed view of a subspace. In the subspace view, the user can identify clusters by selecting points using a brushing feature. The user can also visualize the data as a biplot by adding the attribute vectors to the subspace view. Inside the dimensionality view the user has access to scree plots for the clusters generated by the user, as well as a bar chart of the intrinsic dimensionality of the subspaces. The control panel is used to change the various settings of the visual tools such as selecting the text similarity algorithm, the number of dimensions they want to divide the subspace into, etc. The control panel also contains a sub-panel for clusters. The cluster panel can be used to delete a cluster or change the opacity of the cluster. The control panel also contains a list of all the attributes that are contained in the currently selected subspace. The user has the option to add or remove an attribute from the subspace. We use the Filipino Family Income and Expenditure dataset to demonstrate how our approach facilitates the exploration of high-dimensional data as well as the discovery of interesting patterns within the data. Visualization of the semantic space can be seen in the semantic space view. It is noticeable that inside the semantic space the attributes related to expenditure such as vegetable, housing etc. form one large cluster. Furthermore, inside the cluster, we can see that attribute related to expenses on food-related items, vegetable, rice, alcohol, are on the right side and attributes related to expenses on utilities, housing, transport, medical care, are on the left side. Attributes related to ownership such as car, computer etc. form another cluster. Inside this cluster, we also observe subcategorizations. Notice that car and the motor car are separated as a kitchen related electronics, stove, washing machine, refrigerator. Other clusters related to income, family, house etc. can also be observed in the semantic space view. There are some discrepancies in the construction of the semantic space. We use the custom option in the control panel and drag the misaligned attributes into the correct position. We use the slider to divide the data space into nine subspaces. The subspaces created by the clustering algorithm have some deficiencies. We use the attribute panel to reassign attributes to the appropriate subspaces. We then proceed to name the different subspaces. This allows us to organize the subspaces and aids in remembering the subspaces. It is interesting to note that in the expenses on food subspace, the crop, bread, cereal and rice attributes feature have a different direction compared to the other food-related expenses. We use the brush feature to select observations with relatively higher values in these features and create a new cluster. In the expenditure on utilities subspace, we notice that the red cluster stays closer to the center, signifying that, in general, the households in this cluster do not spend too much on utilities such as housing, clothes etc. We select the households that show higher expenses on utilities. We can now compare these two clusters to see how they are related in other subspaces. The electronics own subspace shows that households in the yellow cluster own more electronics. The house subspace shows that households in the yellow cluster live in larger houses. In general, it is clear that the yellow cluster represents households with more economic resources and a better lifestyle. 
The separation between the two clusters in many subspaces suggests that in Filipino society rice, bread, cereal and crops make a major portion of the food consumption in households with less economic resources. In addition to exploring semantic subspaces the user can use subspace quality metrics to extend a subspace. The user can also create a new subspace by selecting any subset of attributes from the semantic subspace view.